It's the middle of summer and for once the sun is shining across Britain. It's even shining in Wales, so we thought we'd make the most of this rare occurrence and head for the west for a spot of sea fishing off the coast of Abu Dhabi. It looks like Howell has managed to bring everything including the kitchen sink, so whilst he gets organised, let's meet our skipper for the day. My name is Matthew Rickard, I specialise in bass fishing. The company's called BassFishingWales.com, uh, based here in Abu Dhabi. I can take two paying passengers plus myself, which is quite nice really because it's more like a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, a lot of my customers actually book the boat for themselves. It gets you out there, gets you amongst all the rocks which other boats can't get to, which is where the bass are really. And now we know where the bass will probably be hiding, it's time to go and meet them. Cue the montage. Well folks, welcome to sunny mid Wales and we're on Miamu, BassFishingWales.com. Now we would be using surface lures but Aaron has set me an extra challenge. Matthew, our guide and skipper, he's going to be on surface lures but I've got to catch them on the fly. So which is best? Is it surface lures or is it fluff chucking? Let's find out. Okay, this is the rod I'll be using. It's a H2O lure game, five to 25 gram rating. Generally, the reason why I use this is because it's got a soft tip, and mainly I'll be using surface lures, which is these, the head and spooks. Work extremely well on nice conditions as we are today. The reel, it's a 4,000 size spinning reel by pen, loaded with 20 pound braid. And yep, that's all you need for catching bass. For my oh. tactics, just make as much noise as you can. Yeah, the water's a little bit murky. Yeah. Uh, due to the recent uh, blow we had over the last few days. Um, so yeah, any commotion really, try and get these bass wound up. I mean, we're in shallow water, so they shouldn't uh, be too bothered about coming up for it. Now, fly the spinner. Do they outfish each other occasionally? On its given day? Yeah. Uh, the fly works extremely well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it all depends on what they're feeding on, to be honest. Got ya. If they want a smaller bait, then the fly's fly is the best way to go. Got ya. Why are you using the surface lure? Is it because it's just great to watch them explode? Or yeah. Is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can wind your lures back, you know, the shallow runners or the deep divers. Yeah. You know, you've got to impart a bit of action to it, but there's nothing better than seeing a fish come for a surface lure. Yeah. The easiest way to do it is you've got to have a continuous wind. Got ya. You know, so the line's got to be taut all the time and just do a continuous movement on the rod tip. Nothing sharp. Yeah. Just subtle movements, but keep that reel winding and you'll see the lure work from side to side. Is it the disturbance of the lure or is it the change of direction? Is, you know? It's the disturbance. I mean, what it's, trying to imitate is an injured fish basically yeah. on the surface trying to get away and hence why when you get a take on a, on a surface lure and it doesn't actually hook up you've got to make that pause yeah because all you're trying to do is imitate what it's actually done to the prey yeah and stunned it basically get them explode on it yeah and stop it's, it's hard to do it yeah at first as you know but if you can get yourself calmed down enough to, to actually pause the lure, you will get a better hook rate. Come on in fish. It's nil nil at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that it's not going to be easy pickings today. And if the fish are not going to find the fisherman, then the fisherman will have to find the fish.
Right then, Howell, I think we should uh, make a move, to be honest. Uh, we're not doing anything here. We've pulled a couple of fish up on the surface lure, but they didn't take. So I think we're going to head off to uh, Abu Dhabi Estuary and try the sandbanks there. It's still nil-nil. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> At least the fly's not being beaten. We're just heading to the south spit here, just on the sandbank. We're going to make a few casts into the, uh, the swell here. There's a few waves breaking. Um, so it'll be subsurface lures here, rather than the surface lures. And we'll see what happens. It's just a perfect place for... Uh, for bass to hunt, uh, they'll be mainly feeding on sand eels here. As the wave crashes over the top of the bank, it'll dislodge the eels and the bass will be there awaiting them. So let's give it a go. And that's the, that's the lure I'll be using. Very much like a sand eel shape. Let's see if it'll do the business. So you say they're just cruising on the, on the edge of the sandbar? Yeah, yeah. Looking for anything to feed on really. But you've got to be on that bank. Got ya. And as the lure comes off the top of it. They nail it. That's where they normally are, yeah. Unfortunately for Matt, it looks like the waters here are far too turbulent for him to carry on fishing, as he has to keep repositioning the boat. It looks like this competition is becoming increasingly unfair. And look, Morgan's up to his old tricks again. Ah, oh, change of tactics. Yep, it's fly out of the way for you. And the sharp-eyed ones, you will know this, <laughs> it ain't the fly rod. We've come into the surf. Just off that bank, see? Yeah. Just smacked it. Yeah. Fighting well. Yeah, yeah, they hold on well here. Go what on. you'll find as well, they're quite a golden colour. All right. Be on the sand a while. Hanging on, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> that's why. That's why he's hanging on. A bit of weed and he hooked him in the back. It's a bass. Now, is that takeable? Um, it's legal, but you wouldn't. It's, you said, it, it, it is actually legal yeah. size, but, but no. No. Because it hasn't spawned. No. And we'll put him back. And there he goes. Oh, huh? well done. Cheers, mate. Yeah. <coughs> Let's go and get another one. This back is right up against that yeah. bank again. They're definitely on that on that ledge. D shad with a lip, so it's diving down, and that's why I've come off the fly. Because look at it. It's like a washing machine. It most certainly is, and that's exactly why I'm not on the boat. Ha 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 ha. Changing tactics seems to be the right move. And the D-Shad again, he nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Gorgeous, fin perfect, look at it. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And look at the spikes on there. And on the gill cases, you could be so careful underneath. Yeah. That's why I'm not really happy nice. doing it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Annoyingly, no sooner than finding the fish, both the tide and the weather have started to turn. Last cast, I think, Last man. cast, yeah. I tell you what, look, 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 look. Uh, big, big black cloud coming. Doesn't look healthy. I think that's going to come this way. Well, it hasn't been... Uh... No, it's been very tough today. We managed to get two fish out of it. I mean, I gave up on the fly um, because it was so hard work. Yeah. And we had to cover the, the bases and yeah. cover that. So, two to the d Yeah. Um, Zero. It's, act it's Zero actually... To me. It's 2 nil to me. It is, <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were out, we had 25, 30 fish, yep. but that's fishing. Yeah. Um, that's thanks for coming out and bringing me out. It's been... Oh, no uh, worries. I really enjoyed it. Right, come on, let's get in before that shower. Yes. I don't want to get wet. It doesn't look healthy, does it? It appears our luck has finally run out today, but if you want to test your skills on this beautiful stretch of the Welsh coastline, then get in touch with Matt on BassFishingWales.com. <laughs>